Living beings are shaped by the DNA. Species vary with different DNA. It also defines the relationship between species. However, individuals from the same species may differ from each other due to the environment. For instance, sunlight and soil moisture affects the plants. Therefore, individuals that are alike often come from similar logic and atmosphere. When we look at the high-rise buildings in the same perspective, we may find that structure and form limits the shape of each floor change within a small degree. However, the details of every floor still varies with form and height. So through the same logic, different conditions form similar floors. The term high-rise buildings means similar floors sequenced in a vertical order. Dealing with a series of similar individuals is like working with the same function with different parameters. Computer-based programs can complete this process automatically and efficiently. A loop structure can run through a self-included code for certain times. The interface can provide a list of different parameters for each execution, then stores the final results. Comparatively, they act like logic and conditions, and thus form a set of similar individuals. Judging from the past experience, high-rise buildings is a simple and plausible approach towards the exploration of parametric designs. Of course, it still demands a lot of effort as each step in each project has its own uniqueness. We may use a case of high-rise hotel design to illustrate this better. The parametric design approach was considered when the project has just completed the conceptual stage. The team needs to guarantee the project to be able to construct while maintaining desired visual experience. The whole series of work starts with a simple but critical part. In many high-rise building projects, the numbers of floors changed frequently, which accompanied collateral change in building mass and other index. This kind of work has a clear logic and information structure, which can be easily turned into automatic systems using a required program. In this system, we put together different sets of floors consisting of various heights and functions, and insert mechanism and emergency space in the required places so as the system can support all work done one after another including formation, emergency space information, table size, unit divisions, all programs and statistics. All of the valve is interacting with each other in one real-time feedback system offering the required visual and statistic information. The whole process can be done over and over again by changing certain parameters. This is an universally adapted information logic for high-rise buildings. In the following complex projects, which included high-rise buildings, this platform plays an important role, either in master or detailed plan. In projects with a single tower or multiple towers, We may take a closer look at the specific problems of this project. To begin with, the outlines are similar but not identical. Secondly, the tower is top-heavy, with the corner on the top contracting in. This kind of alteration is not even in all directions, thus there is no clear logic. Third, some floors exceed 1,500 square meters, which is beyond our limit. Fourth, the roof modeling approach and the conceptual stage caused a lot of problems in the programs. 
standard interior lay cannot fit in with some of the floors. Fifth, higher levels require inclined columns, and it's different in every direction. Sixth, due to the numerous control points on the original outline, the curvature is consistently changing, making it difficult in construction. Consequently, this geometry system cannot proceed. Another solution is required. After failing in rebuilding the model by Loftin, we decided to approach the original shape from the outline of every floor, which is a simple and regular system. Through offsetting, rotating, and elevating the four sides and corners, we built a plain outline controlled by 16 parameters, five of which are fixed so that the outlines of sides and the back are parallel to each other. Such simplification will not affect the overall visualization. The rest of nine parameters are driven by SAA in order to fit in with the original outline. However, the lines are still consisted of curves and lines with accurate center and radius. same operation is repeated for each floor. A geometric system with minimal visual difference can be obtained, which also allows further design. Since the outline rhythm is clear, a more efficient method was proposed. The curve on the front side and the lines on the other three sides is fixed which leaves the only diameter of four corners as parameters. We start from zero and gradually increase the radius. When it fits in with the original outline, the required radius is found. This simple numeric approach does not involve the SAA and the operation is carried out smoothly when all the calculations are driven by the timer which shortens the process of reshaping the outline from the half an hour to a few seconds. Now the shape is made out of only four kinds of parameters so that we can control the shape precisely and solve all design problems. Inclined columns are only allowed on the top of the tower. However, because the lower levels contract in too much, the column grade is under too much pressure. From the seventh floor and up are all guest rooms, some of the which is fillet radius is too large, which also puts too much pressure on the structure. From the 26th floor and up is the Soho. Floor openings can be designed to avoid exceeding the area limit. It's better to keep it under 1,500 square meters for the 27th floor and down. The bulging shape in the front causes the beams overhang too far. This needs to be adjusted. So Bezier Curves was introduced to adjust the parameter for all floors. When controlled by the Bezier Curves, the numbers comes in a uniform sequence, which avoids the manual inaccuracy and guarantees a smooth transition between all floors. As we are adjusting, we focused on the inclined columns and floor area, as well as the overall shape of the tower. In the end, we use this method to avoid inclined columns at the bottom. Also ensure that the average floor area is under 1,500 square meters and the beam overhang under 4.8 meters. However, the overall shape of the tower barely changed. When we got rid of the inclined columns at the bottom, the ones on the top are unavoidable. This requires the best cooperation between architects and engineers. 
real-time control and instant visual feedbacks become so important. Structural engineers require no bending within the inclined columns and limits the inclination within 3 to 10 degrees. Some of the control points must be removed to strengthen up the inclined columns. Some of the unnecessary inclined columns can be even taken out after repeated observation. While monitoring the distance of beam overhang, we adjusted the incline column degrees by displaying the sections. Meanwhile, the column sections of each floor are updated in real time, making sure the structure and form works well with each other. Thereby, the initial adjustment of the design is completed. When the outlines is done, the architrave between floors need to be designed. We came up with two variable architrave sections for different openings of the window. A simplified model is thus obtained by staggering the outlines of each floor. This parametric section design also helped us on the section joints of the entire tower. Then it comes to the partition of the glass. Glasses were arranged from the axis to the corners. The stand at one and a half meter size is near the midpoint of the corner. We divided the leftover length evenly. With this logic, an instant result can be obtained even if the glass size of the outline changed. Feather designing the wall plane, we connected the vertical cross section with the wall and set up an interval logic for the openings of each room. The rest is calculation. Finally, we acquired the partition plan of the glass on the towers and the opening space design. In this way, we were able to get the glass geometric analysis both visually and statistically. A glass wall specialist is introduced at the stage to evaluate the possibility and the cost of this project. This fixes problems as well as boosting confidence to the team. At this stage, we're almost finished on the logic model of the tower body. The design process changes constantly, taking us back to any one of the stages and adjust again. The design logic saved by the program is like a flexible production line that responds to every adjustment we make, which help us to complete the drawings efficiently. Of course, the tower crown part is of great significance, and we came across a lot of difficulties. We used the parametric approach on the crown shape conflict between window cleaning machines and helicopter platforms, partition of glasses on the crown. However, the work machine above are somehow scattered and is loosely related to the thing. Will feather decompose if the chance is given?